Hi, I'm Derek. I'm Lindsay. Thank you again Thanks. for tuning into our vlog. You guys wrote in so many cool questions. Yeah, thank you. Using the hashtag really famous writers. I, I did you know how many questions we were gonna get? I had no idea. Oh I my certainly gosh. didn't know. Oh my god, thank you so much. Wow. That's so cool. Um yeah, my address is 173 First Avenue, Derek, apartment I, three. That's my address. Yeah, I don't know what they're gonna send me. So we wanted to answer some more of your questions, which is very cool. Here's a question we thought was pretty great. So no, actually I haven't always been a writer. That's a really good question. When I was a kid, I did used to write like a lot of um, short stories. My mom was actually a children's book author, which was awesome. Um, so growing up, we read a lot of books together, but then I decided um, I really loved acting. So I decided to become a theater major. I worked at Broadway.com as their features editor for a while. My top three celebrity interviews of all time, nicest guys as well, were Hugh Jackman, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Paul Rudd. What is it like being up there in your underwear? How does that feel? I've shown my butt in so many movies that I feel like it's, but it is a little, it is a little, strange to be in your underwear in front of a thousand people. The theaters can be a little cold too, so that's kind of nice. You know, That's very glamorous. It was extremely glamorous. Did you glamorous. keep it together or were you like... I decided right before I walked into the interview that if I didn't pee my pants or faint, then I was good. And I didn't. Well, I peed a little, but nobody could tell. When I was a kid, I would write short stories and stuff. I also wrote a humor magazine, an underground humor magazine. And really? I, and I would sell it in stores. How old were you? Uh, I was 13 when I started it. Oh my and gosh. And um, <clears throat> so I'd like, I'd bike around to stores and sell advertising. Would and... you like throw the magazine at them? Like um, like the Paperboy, the, the video game? Y yeah, it was just like that. And also Space Invaders at the same time, because there were these aliens coming and they were all in rows. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it a weird combination. So My childhood strange. was a weird combination of classic that's arcade really games. Weird. And then the New York Times wrote a, a profile. On oh, it. that's but, all. Just like a little New York Times profile. Well, a lot of the local papers started like, you know, giving me press, and then the, mm -hmm. and then the New York Times did, and like, you know, it was like this, like wonder kind. <laughs> yeah, I was like a wonder paper kind. Boy. I was like a wonder kind. I was like, well, it's a paper boy thing. A paper boy is when you deliver other people's papers. <laughs> I should that's have employed paper boys. That's how I envision you. That's as a how child. you like a little cap on, yeah, like, yeah, hey, like, Mister, hey, we got the paints, yeah. and then throwing them. Yeah. So, Derek, um, have you always been a writer? Yes. That's it. You you have always just always been a writer. That's that's a, that's all. Yeah, that's why it's writer. It's cool that you did all those other things, though. First officer, stand by for action. Austin! Yes, sir! Stand by to make sail! Aye, sir! Where did your leg go? Was it like t like bent and like behind you? Or I don't like... remember. Is it a hole in the table? And there's all this like fake blood spurting out, and and Paul Giamatti was like keeping his arm. He was like he just kept patting me on the chest. I was like we're gonna get through this because <laughs> <laughs> I was screaming so much. I had already like lost my voice like an hour into oh, the filming. Oh no! Uh, um, and even if you scream, like if you like whisper scream, it's even worse on your voice. If you're mm -hmm. like, <laughs> wait, do it really? <laughs> That's, That's worse than going. <laughs> so a lot of my. <laughs> A lot of my nautical research on sea... I did a lot of research. A lot of it went into my the first YA um, manuscript I ever wrote, which had seafaring elements. It was like a fantasy, and they were on this ship. Um, and all of your screaming uh, practice <laughs> yes. went into your title? new book, Scream All Night, which is basically, apparently, what Ooh. you love doing. 
So did your experience on film sets uh, help you at all when you were writing Scream All Night, since that takes place in a horror movie uh, studio? It, it, for sure, it influenced Scream All Night. And Scream All Night is set in a B-horror movie studio called Moldavia, which is set in this castle. The very strange, insular, specific world of movie sets where everyone has their own lingo and then time kind of gets lost in all these different departments um, that come together in like an orchestra, like a symphony, and they kind of make everything work. All these disparate elements have to like... <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to the place a lot. Um, it definitely inspired the sort of wild screwball world of, of Moldavia and Scream All Night for sure. So what inspired the music elements of Someday Somewhere? Anything from your life or? Um, yeah, sort of. Um, my dad was a music teacher, which is really cool. So growing up, there was a lot of music in my house. He is big into jazz, so there was a lot of jazz. And I, my choir performed at Carnegie Hall when I was a kid. So um, I got this like firsthand experience of performing there. And then I used that in the book, which was cool. Wait, how do you get to Carnegie Hall that now you can actually oh, answer that? Um, Cause just you know, like, that, isn't that like a, it's not like a riddle, it's like a saying. Yeah. How do you get to Carnegie yeah. Hall? I always say take the N train. Okay, Or that's an fair. Uber. Yeah. <laughs> These days. Um, I have a question. Really What's your Uber rating? So it's like, I don't know, it's like not five. It's not? No, I feel like I've never had a bad experience, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like maybe I've kept them waiting once or twice, but it's mm -hmm. like 4.67. Well, is that good? I think it's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Why? Because <Why? What's laughs> my your rating's Uber? really bad. Is it really bad? Yeah, it's like awful. Is it awful? Yeah, it's awful. What is it? It's you're gonna you don't you're not gonna want to be friends with me anymore. Well, if I was an Uber driver, I wouldn't. Wait, what? <laughs> Can you not? Don't tell anyone though. <laughs> it's just between us and the internet. <laughs> What's your Uber rating? It's two point six. Oh I know. My God. I know. It's awful. What did you do? I, I don't even. Did you light the car on fire? Did you <laughs> no. rob a bank and then call an Uber <laughs> to like pick you up? What happened? Oh. What? I was I'm... I was arranging rides for a bachelorette party for one of my friends, and I was the maid of honor, so I I arranged them, and everybody I guess in the Ubers was acting really rowdy and. Oh yeah, so I don't know. I bachelor, just... you really got suckered into that bachelorette party. Can we use your Uber account yeah. thing to get everyone? Yeah, rides? that old trick. But I did get an alias and a fake uh, new email address, and also used a different credit card. You're in like an Uber protection agency. Yes. So what's your fake name? Jacqueline Sharonis. It's so much better than my <laughs> fake name. Um, Alexandra Depend. <laughs> Is that spelled D-E-U-X at the end? Yes. Is it like silent? Yes. Um, no, when you have a fake name, you have to make it very basic and very uh, generic because otherwise some people will be on to you. So you have to be like Sarah Marganalia. Smith. Morganalia? Curtain Rod. Yep, that's it. You guessed it. I knew it. I knew it was He that. always gets it right. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to ask us a question, just use the hashtag ReallyFamousWriters and um, I'm at Lizzie Champion. And I'm at Derek Nolan. Yeah! This is what happens when the vlog is You do that? Bye. Bye! Bye! Bye, Derek! Bye! <laughs> Where'd he go?